Professor Clements with you uh, again dealing with batteries and their internal resistance. This time to illustrate the uh, difference between a relatively new battery and an old battery. And we'll see how uh, an increasing internal resistance affects the operation of the battery in a circuit. This relates to OpenStax College Physics, Chapter 21. We have a 9-volt battery, relatively new, not completely new, but uh, its internal resistance, let's say, is 1.5 ohms. We're going to calculate the current when 7 ohms is connected to the battery. Now we have a drawing over here on the left of uh, our battery with the EMF and the internal resistance represented, our external resistor here. We know those values, though the external resistor and the internal resistance are in a series combination. I'm drawing one series equivalent resistance here, and external is 7, internal is 1.5, so our series resistance is 8.5 ohms, and our current out of the battery would be 1.06 amps. If we want to know the terminal voltage, we have to account for the voltage drop inside the battery due to the internal resistance. We've worked out the current, so we have our EMF of 9 volts, the current in the battery, 1.06 amps. The current throughout this whole circuit, 1.06 amps. And then the internal resistor, 1.5 ohms. 1.06 times 1.5. There's a voltage drop inside the battery, 1.59 volts, leaving 7.41 volts for the um, terminal voltage. So not at 9, because we do have internal resistance. Now. This battery has been used, not well taken care of, and later we find that the internal resistance is 200 ohms. Now let's calculate the current and the terminal voltage. So we again draw our circuit here, now 200 ohms rather than 1.5 ohms. They are in series, so it's still a series calculation. 207 ohms, 9 volt battery, V equals IR. Solving for I, we take the potential difference divided by the resistance. 9 divided by 207, 4.35 times 10 to the minus 2 amps. 4.35 times 10 to the minus 2 amps, or 43.5 milliamps. Then taking a look at the terminal voltage. Again, terminal voltage is EMF minus current going through the uh, internal resistance. So we have worked out that current already. We have 200 ohms of internal resistance. We don't use 207 here. We're interested in the resistance inside the battery to give us this change in the terminal voltage. That's a big number. 8.7 volts is across the internal resistor, leaving us with 0.3 volts for the terminal voltage. Not enough to operate whatever device is attached and we would call this a dead battery. Um, battery testers will put a fairly uh, uh, low resistance load on a battery, and draw current from it, and if the uh, terminal voltage is still significant, we'll get a good current out of the battery and have a, um, a responding deflection of the needle of the battery tester. If the battery is old, there'll be a small current out of the battery and won't get much deflection of that battery tester needle. Internal resistance does make a difference in how a battery operates. The EMF is still 9 volts, even though this battery is old, um, but the uh, ability to push current around a circuit is reduced as the internal resistance goes up. Keep practicing.